TCU. Tees up the ball as we get ready for the opening kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bears and their ground game's always been sensational. It's not always one guy, Herbie. Sometimes they've got two or three that can carry the load. And that's what makes it so tough for this defense is you're not focusing in on just one guy. You're focusing in on really an entire scheme. And because of that diversity, I think it makes it more of a challenge. And you got to be better tacklers in the open field. And, and I think that's really what they've stressed all week is tackling and gang tackling and getting to the football. Hard to get to guys and make tackles in space. From their own 19 yard line. Second down. He's out of bounds around the 26 yard line. That'll be a seven yard pickup. This is good timing here between the quarterback and the wide receiver. Recognizing the soft coverage from the defensive back, the quarterback puts the ball right in the money for a nice game. So the stop there on third and long, and that's going to bring up a punting situation. It's a good hold by the defense on third down. Now their punt returner will get a chance to make something happen. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. So the opening drive failed to produce any points. Boy, the crowd was loud and did their part. Now if they're able to move the ball downfield, they can take control of this game early. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He makes it to the 35-yard line. A two-yard run by the halfback. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up second and nine. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 35. Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. Two-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. That makes it third and 11. scrimmage on that one. Well, I don't think they did a very good job of selling the pass. The defense was able to read the play and come right in there and make a nice stop. It's away and it's a booming punt. He fields the punt at the 20. He's taken down at the 22. Well, that was a great punt and there was even better coverage on the return. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. There's a strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 21-yard line. the 29-yard line. Number two. Now he's scrambling. And he's going to come up with a sack. That's a loss of eight yards. That brings us fourth of the number. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. Made a few guys miss on his way to a quality return. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. Gets it out quickly. Around the 49-yard line. He faked out everybody in the stadium. 
When you can sell the run that well, you're going to have the upper hand on the defense. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49. Can't wrap him up. He's at the 40, and they push him out around the 34-yard line. What a play. Just a simple option play here. The quarterback gives it up, and they get good yardage. Great play. Possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. From the 22-yard line, it's first down. Makes it out to about the 13. The offensive line got a really good push there, allowing the back to pick up nine on the play. Bring him down in the backfield. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. It's third and five. Ball on the 18-yard line. Ready! And he's pushed out of bounds, setting up a first and goal. down and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's taken down just outside the goal line. That brings him second. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They line up in the jumbo set. Blue in the eight. Touchdown. Horn throw. Tacks on the extra point. A nice eight play, 63 yard drive. And the result, seven points. So the score now, seven nothing. They line up to kick this one away. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Horned Frogs have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. And he's level at the 20-yard line. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. He's out to the 30, and he's immediately tackled. That's a game of center play. Third down. This game's already shaping up to be a good one as we head to the second quarter. 7-0, TCU. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. That's a game of eight on the play. That Come makes it first three, and ten. Three, six, Mike, three, six, check, green, check, nine, green, nine. Dancer, dancer, coming, seven, red, seven, six. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number 19 makes the tackle at the 44-yard line. That'll make it second and four. 
right here. And he tackles him hard at the 49 yard line. Call it again at five yards. Roger, Roger. First down. Mike 36. Mike 36. On the ball, on the ball, on the ball. Check, check. Check, 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 Tackle made around the 39 yard line. Call it again in 12 yards. Larry, Larry. First down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hey, let's get that ball, D. Let's get that ball. Easy. 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 Flair. Seven red flare. Go. He steps out at the 37. Make the stop around the 32 yard line. Number 36 on the tackle at the 32 yard line. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Pick it up, guys, pick it up. Green nine, green. Zipped it out, and that was almost picked off. Here's a case of a quarterback so eager to make a play that he failed to see the danger of that attempt and nearly gave the ball away. So they're going to go for it here. Go for it. And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a team of five on the way. That makes it first and ten. Kill, kill. kill. Red seven, red seven. Kill. Knocked out of bounds around the 24-yard line. That will make it second to seven. He's got an opening. Inside the 10. Touchdown, Bears. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. So a 12-play, 74-yard drive, and a touchdown's a result. This quarterback has really demonstrated a tremendous amount of ability and leadership today. I'd be very surprised if he didn't continue to play well. We're even at seven in this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Maybe a yard on the run by the tailback. That was the junior linebacker who'll get credit with the tackle there. That makes it second and ten. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Let's go! Blue And he throws it away. So the offense fails to pick up the first down. That'll make it fourth and six. Certainly they don't have the return on here. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 33-yard line, it's second down. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Hey. 
Scrambling around. That's a great tackle at the 27. Fourth and long here after the sack. Booming kick. And the return, and he fumbles the ball. It's recovered. Wow, very close to turning it over, but they'll keep possession of the football. Way to play heads up out there. That's just one more reason to play to the whistle. From their own 23-yard line, first down. Pickup. Four yards there on the old quarterback keeper. The Horn Frogs taking their first time out of the half. Fires quicker and he's got his man. And down he goes at the 36. Six-yard line. Very solid gain through the air. I'm impressed with the poise of this quarterback and the ability of the receiver to keep his concentration and get his hands on the football. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. This defensive lineman's got the kind of size and strength where he can disrupt the play all by himself. And this one is a beauty. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's taken down at the 35. That's good for a gain of 15 yards. First down. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Nearly intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Quick strike to the receiver. They'll bring him down at the 44. Tackled at about the 47 yard line. Baylor will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. Now he tries to buy some time. The ball pops free. It's scooped up by the offense. Close one there. Maybe the ball carrier will try a little harder to secure the ball next time. Here we go, here we go. And he is drilled at the 50 yard line. Just throws this one away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Out of bounds at the 21-yard line. 
They coughed up the pigskin the last time they had the ball. Let's see if they can hold on to it this time. Anytime you give the ball away, it's a disappointment. So these guys want to show that they can hang on to it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You know, it looked to me like he should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. Second and 14. Ball on the 16-yard line. So we've played two quarters. We get a tie game at 7-7. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. That'll do it here in the studio at halftime. We'll try to see if Pollock can bring a little energy in the second half. Got a lot of games to watch, including yours. Brad and Kirk, ready for the second half. And the second half just about set to get started. We're dead even. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Throws it in the hurry. Tackle at about the 49. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they look sharp before this one even started. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 49. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Brought down at the 49. From their own 49 yard line, second down. Steps up in the pocket. He's taken down around the 29 yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Gets it out to his receiver, and he can't hang on. Number 85, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and 10. First and ten. Ball on the 19 yard line. Ready. Quick throw to the tight end. Breaks one. Touchdown, TCU. This guy can play some football. You bet he can. He's such an all-around player. He's just as good at blocking as he is at catching the football. And he hits the PAT. A 
six play 75 yard drive and they get it in for seven. So our score 14 7 TCU to kick. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. TCU's coaching staff will go out tonight. I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing has just been so conservative, so predictable. It's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. That's good for a game of eight yards. That makes it second and two. Down. Mike, three, six. Go, kill, kill, kill. Got a three. three. <laughs> and he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. some daylight and he's leveled at the 48 yard line first down quick throw out to the receiver tackle made at the 40 yard line that makes it first and 10 watch 36 Fires out to his wider, and they make the stop around the 37 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 27 yard line. First and ten. First ball on the 27-yard line. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. Black five. Black He fights forward to about the 26. got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back, and they'll get him in the backfield. Three-yard loss there. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. down. It looks like they're going to try for the long field goal. It's up. And he got it. Yeah, he got some good leg behind it and he kicked an accurate ball right between the goal posts. 14-10, TCU. They line up to kick this one away. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Kirk, if this keeps going like it has been, we are going to have one exciting fourth quarter. I just hope we continue to see this kind of execution. It's a lot of fun to be able to watch these offenses make plays, and it kind of has that feel. Whoever does have the ball last and a chance to make a play can win this game. The quarterback did a really good job in the last drive of finding his receivers in space, and I bet he'll be looking to do the same thing again. TCU is up four. Nice run, and he's brought down. The option to the tailback good for about four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 29. Here we go! Red 18! Got some open field. Makes it to the 41. Scrambles. 
And down he goes, right around midfield. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He gets rid of this one. it out to maybe the 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, first down. Goes quickly, and it's almost intercepted. Number three was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. to catch it. He's got nowhere to go. That'll bring up third and eight. Here's the eighth play of the series. I got one, I got one, I got one. TCU is up by four. Backs got it on the quick throw. And he's tackled at the 42 yard line. To tackle. That's a game of five on the way. That brings up fourth and three. We're headed to the fourth quarter, and both of these defenses are still stealing the show. 14 10, TCU. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. Oh, excellent punt. A little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. This has been like a heavyweight bout, Kurt. Both teams just hammering each other defensively. Love to watch two defenses fly around like this and just lay into these offenses, not giving them any chance to put any points up on the board. Early in the fourth quarter in a very, very tight football game, and uh, the game could hinge on this possession. And he's tackled after positive yardage. That brings him second and five. Makes it to the 37. Call again at 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. Green, Green, two, easy. Green nine, Blue, check, 20. Check, 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 check. And now he's got room to run. He gets to about the 41 yard line. First down. Mike 36. Mike 36. Here we go, here we go, here we go. He's at the 30, makes it out to about the 23. Gains his way to the 10 yard line. From the 10 yard line, first down. So the kicker will line up here and try to give his team a three-point lead with this extra point. And he converts the extra point. 
So a seven play 80 yard drive and it results in a touchdown. And Brad right now the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches opening up some big running lanes. So the score now 17 14 and it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Tackled after a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Chains moving. Just a simple out route that time, and it was enough to beat the zone defense. From the 39 yard line, it's first down. Just under three to go in regulation. Zips it to the back. He's tackled at about the 37-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Hurry, 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 hurry. He goes out of bounds right around the 32-yard line. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Easy, easy, easy. And he's tackled right away. A good play fake that time. Here, the play action was key. It held the linebackers there by the fake by the running back, and the running back did a very nice job of carrying out his fake. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. They'll bring him down at the six. A yard, maybe two on the carry. That brings up second and goal. Here's play number 10 on the drive. He's on the run. Touchdown, and they take the lead. Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? He makes the PAT. TCU is ready to kick it away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Baylor's plan today was to keep it in his hands. He has come through for him to this point, and now he's got a chance to maybe ice it. Yep, they're going to try to find a way to get him the football in space. It's going to be up to the defense to have at least two defenders near him to prevent that big play. It's going to be exciting to see how this game finishes up. They come out on an empty backfield. 
Now he tries to buy some time, and they get the sack. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Fires it out. Very good tackle in space. He made a good read here to find his teammate. That's sound decision making. Biggest third down and long of the football game right here in the fourth quarter. We have less than a minute to go. Well, you can see the elation on the defensive coordinator side of things, and why not? His defense just came up with one of the biggest stops of the game in a vital spot in this fourth quarter. And if they don't convert here, then the game is over. So a big, big stop on fourth down here late in the fourth quarter. This is where the offense has to come to the forefront. They work all week for situations like this. They've got the lead. They've got a chance to add to it, and that'd mean a victory. Blue 14! Blue 14! Makes it out to about the 16. They go with a run, and that'll be a gain of nine. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. That's a great tackle at the 15. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 21-17, TCU. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action of this one? I'm sad to see this one in because it was a great game to watch. Baylor played a good game out there, but they needed to make one or two more big plays, and they couldn't do it. Who knows? Another couple of minutes, and this one may have gone the other way. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.